Hello and welcome to Tree Walker Talks, episode 24, No More Excuses. Alright, so let's get this disclaimer out of the way right away. I do have a little bit of a cough, but I'm not feeling too bad. Um, and it is 12.04 a.m., so depending on how you want to look at that, I haven't been in bed yet, so it's still Wednesday night. But to some, this would be early Thursday morning. Okay, so if I... Go off on a little bit more of a tangent, that's why. This is an after work one because the house has been busy during the day, so I thought we would record it at night. Okay, so in this episode, the homestead update. It has been snowy and cold. And cold. But it's supposed to warm up um, a little bit. So we'll be, you know, I don't know, 40s, maybe even lower 50s during the day and lower 30s upper 20s at night so that'll come into our next projects part when we get to that uh, that temperature is great for something um the chickens we're laying consistent we're getting uh, good eggs four to five a day out of them so you know that's great that's awesome we've got plentiful i've been giving some to several people to you know share the wealth when uh, you've got more than what you can handle you can, it's nice to help out people that are in need. Um, let's see, the rabbits and the silky eggs. Um, I gotta look at my other screen over here. The rabbits are due around March 26th. And the same thing with the silkies. On the 26th, I'm supposed to turn off the turner and put them in a lockdown. So it'll be March 29th to 30th that they should actually start hatching. So we're looking at 10 days out. So a week from Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Okay, let's move on to projects. Um, some of the projects I want to do, um, I want to make another chicken bucket feeder. With I've already got all the stuff to do, I just have to find time and space. Which, you know, we're still needing the workshop to get cleaned out. Hopefully tomorrow, I, the dog's hacking up over there, so let me pause this. Okay, so hopefully... Tomorrow I'll be able to go get a few two by fours. Um, I gotta figure out how many. I'd like to just get ten, because you can always use two by fours. And since they're back down to about three thirty, I think uh, for a two by four by eight, I might just get ten of them. Um, depending on what the money situation looks like, I wouldn't mind getting some one by twos and some insulation. So that we can get going on the incubator build, which that's on projects too. Um, like I said, this would be so much easier if I got the shop cleaned out. So I'm hoping, 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 hoping with those 2x4s we can get the shelves done and start organizing out there and get it cleaned up. So then I have a place where I can build this stuff and video it all. Because I'd like to share it with you. So that's why I'm putting off some of the stuff like the incubator and the chicken bucket. Um... Yep, so under my projects, I still had the darn workshop. Um, I need to repair. There's a bad soffit on the corner of my house. Um, I noticed it when I was over there during the winter here. Um, it's been rotted away. We get some wood borers, which are kind of like big bumblebees or yellow jackets. And they just dig into that wood. And then it just goes to crud. And these this house just had painted soffits. So it's just wood with paint on it. And... I need to replace that corner section. Uh, quick drink. So that's on the list to do. Probably not this weekend. I might be able to get some wood for it though. Um, exhaust fan. So in my bathroom, before it gets too hot out, because I keep putting it off, I need to swap out the exhaust fan because the one in there isn't working good. So I've got a stronger, bigger exhaust fan to put in there. And it's just an exhaust fan, so then I have to add two can lights to replace the all-in-one unit that was in there but you know the all-in-one units may be okay for some but the old lady tree walker likes to take boil your skin off showers and the humidity in there just gets crazy so need something better in there um new garden beds i need to get to work on getting those up so i need a couple posts like three posts um, I have some ideas how to do them a little bit different. I have to try a couple of materials um, to make some. These are going to be for like the, I talked about them before, the climbing, like viney type stuff. Mainly this year, um, it'll probably be all beans. I want to do a bunch of the 
trail of tears Cherokee beans and green beans, but the Cherokee beans for sure. And the last of the projects, I just received it today. And with the temperatures coming up, um, they're almost perfect. That means maple syrup sap, maple sap will start running. So this is the first year I've ever tried this. You should always try new things, which we'll get into in the main topic. But I actually have a, excuse me, sap happy sugaring supplies tapping kit. So hopefully I'll get a video of that um, tapping for the first time ever and share it with you. And I don't have sugar maples, which are the best maples for it. But you can get it from any maple. Um, I think it's beech also. It's either beech or birch. I can't remember which. I think it's birch because you can drink the water too, the uh, sap that comes right out and it's good for you. But, you know, something new to try? Am I going to make a gallon? No. Uh, I don't see that happening. We've got three trees here, so I'll probably tap all of them and see what we get. But, you know, just to do it and then actually taste it, your own maple syrup. That should be pretty awesome. Never done it before, so should be interesting. Okay, what's growing? Um, again, this is the first time I've ever tried doing slips for sweet potatoes, and we are successful so far. Hopefully it's not too soon. Um, I think I've gotten about 10 or so slips off of them, and I cut them off the sweet potatoes and put them in water and they're already starting to root out and that was just like two days two days they started rooting out already um i got uh amish paste i threw in the freezer i had a really good crop of big ones last year that's amish paste tomatoes um i've got them out of the freezer to thaw out to get the seeds out so i can get those started um this weekend i'm going to get out there in the greenhouse since it'll stay a little bit warmer and i'm going to plant some kale in the one container um, hopefully maybe get a little video of that up, but maybe not. Okay, on to the main topic. I need another drink. Tonight we're not if we're, uh, drinking coffee or pop or anything like that. We're going with good old vitamin D whole milk. It does the body good. Okay. No more excuses. Okay, you, you know, this is... <laughs> I don't know. A lot of my stuff has been kind of tying in together. I'm trying to keep myself motivated and get things moving and hopefully give you reasons and ideas and help you do the same. So as I'm sitting here looking down, I'm looking at I've got um, Lufa Cylindrica Agapitiac, yeah, something like that. Lufa seeds. I've got all sorts of seeds sitting here on my desk I need to get to. They're, you know, the future. But let's see. First thing I had there was try new things. You don't like the maple syrup. You, you just don't sit there and just ponder it, you know. Just throw the excuses aside and try something new. Try a couple of new things every year. If you don't like them, guess what? Don't ever do them again. Um, is the maple syrup going to be a pain in the butt to cook down? You betcha. But will it be worth it? I don't know. We'll see. You know, that first taste of my own maple syrup, that'd be great. That's why I like... I keep coming back to this. It, it has been a rough week, I want to tell you, about dreaming about and looking at property. Um, I don't know. I, I just feel a sense of urgency to get the property up north. I just don't see how I can make it happen currently right now. So we're, we're trying to work towards it. Um, if you're in my Discord, you'll see I shared the 40 acres that was uh, logged out. It used to be state ground up in Michigan, and it was logged out like 12 years ago. And um, it looked awesome. You know, 40 acres, you can be pretty self-sufficient on 40 acres. Like I said there, though, never going to be 100% because, for one, I need toilet paper. I mean, I could use bark. I could use leaves. But you know what? Soft toilet paper, that's how I know I've made it. But try new things. You know, with that land, if I got it, I'd be planting sugar maples up there. I'd be planting nut trees. Um, I would also be planting the hybrid willow like I talked about last week. Hybrid popular or poplar because that stuff grows quick and you can use it for firewood. And from what I understand, it burns hotter than uh, the hardwoods like oak and stuff. So keep going back to it. Let, let's let's get off of that. But, you know, man, I think it was $89,000 for that 40 acres, which is a little expensive up there. But not bad um and it's just un unimproved land like i said join my uh, discord and you'll see it but uh there'll be links I'll, I'll link it again where were we the try new things yeah you just have to you know and 
try new things. If you can't get the 40 acres like I was talking about, try them in your own area. You know, I'm trying quite a few new things this year. Um, and maybe getting rid of some of the old things. We'll see. Okay. Another thing, you know, we need to consume less and produce more. So in other words, you need to stop buying as much stuff at the store and learn how to make it, create it, grow it, hunt it, forage it, whatever you can here at home. You know, um, I don't know. Some some of the things like the seeds I've got, what did I get? I got... Um, Oh, this is where I'm tired, and I can't... The names escape me when I'm tired. Uh, oh, I'm going to have to open it up. Okay. I got... Oh, that's the wrong one. That was carrot seeds. I needed carrot seeds and stuff. Chicory. Okay, I got chicory seeds. Um, Why did I get that? Because you can make coffee with that. You can make a, a drink just like coffee. And would it be feasible for me to grow coffee here? I mean, I might do it just for the fun of it. But... Uh, for one, even on 40 acres, it would be hard for me to grow enough coffee for me to drink in a year. Let alone probably a month. Because I like my coffee. Um, so, the chicory is a way to get around that. You know, and can I grow a lot of chicory? You darn right grow a lot of chicory. It's like a weed. It grows along the roads down here. So, hopefully, I can try that and see if I like it. If not, back to the drawing board. But, you know, everything... The one thing is, you have to understand, you also have to look at the time. Like potatoes. I may grow some of those, um, regular potatoes, but I got a farmer who grows them just uh, about uh, 20 minutes away from me. And I can get a 50 pound bag um, of just th one thrown in. He doesn't sort them or anything for like 10 bucks. You know, it, now for 10 bucks, am I going to be able to grow 50 pounds and the space where I could grow other things? Not really. And he likes to come down price too uh, if you get like scratch and net ones. So, you know, it, consume less, but also, you know, it, don't try to um, produce what you can consume easy or buy from someone else easier. You know, like corn, sweet corn. You know, it does not pay where I'm at now. If I had that 40 acres, we would rethink that. But right now, I can't grow the corn I need. You know, um, I might be able to fit in, but I wouldn't be able to grow anything else. So, there I purchase it from local farmers too. Okay, one thing so that you don't throw the excuses to the um, side, make small goals. You know, don't, <laughs> I keep going back to this, but, you know, don't say, okay, in six months, I'm going to have that 40 acres right there. Make small goals. In six months, I want to have an income of an extra $200 a month from side hustles I'm doing. You know, I'd like to do that in a month, but we'll see where we're at. You know, and why make the small goal? Because that can go towards the big goal. So I can make that. You know, okay, in six months, I want to make $200 extra dollars a month. Okay, well, that's $200 more a month I can put towards maybe more side hustles. It'll make more money or just save it towards buying land that's at the right price. So, plus, there is nothing like getting some of your goals knocked off the list. Um, I tend to make way too much on my list and don't get maybe 50% of it done. And then you don't feel like you accomplished much. So the small goals will make you feel better, give you better motivation, and you'll be able to do more. Do a little bit every day. This is one I am trying to work on now. Um, it's easy to sit down in that chair and watch YouTube and watch how other people are doing their homesteads and how they're doing this. And it, it's educational, don't get me wrong. But do you think those people sit down and watch YouTube? You, you know, they might have, but now they're out doing stuff. So... That's something I need to work on. I need to get out and do more. Um, before work, after work, you know, like right now I'm recording this after work. Um, on my other kind of side hustle, whatever, I don't know what you want to call it, enjoyment. But um, I played some video games that I make um, buildings and stuff for, prefabs is what they call them, or maps for people. You know, um, if someone wants a map and I've had people pay me for maps in the past, you know what? I can do that before or after work. So, a little bit every day. And you'd be amazed at how much you can get done by doing little things. I don't mean like, you know, oh yeah, I went out and did the chickens and that. That's daily stuff. I'm talking about a little bit extra. This one is another big one, and it's very hard when people in your house won't do it. Declutter and become more organized. It's easy when other people aren't organized to just go with the disorganization. And I have been working on this too. Um... 
there's stuff I have out in my workshop. Let me get another drink. That I haven't touched in probably eight or nine years. Some of it's sentimental. But you know what? Do I really need that stuff? I mean, if I haven't touched it in eight or nine years, why am I keeping it? So I'm going through things, starting at the, in the house here. And then once I get thing or, things organized in the workshop, most of that's up in the attic. I'll slowly bring those down and do the same thing. Declutter and organize. That way, if you need it, it's there. You'll be able to get more of those small goals done. You'll do a little bit more every day. And things will just flow better. So, buckle down. My, my sister saved, shared something with me. And she said, if it's you're only keeping it because of sentimental values, take a picture of it with your phone. You know, let that sit there. And whenever you want to get that feeling of holding the object or looking at it, just look at the picture. You're going to get the same memories. Um, there are some things, you know, uh, there's certain objects I have that have a certain smell to them. Like my grandfather used to smoke cigar and pipe. There's a couple things of his I have that still have that smell to them. You know, that you can't get from a picture. I mean, it may come back to you in your memory, but not the real smell. So there are some things I will keep. Um, but a lot of that just going to be decluttered and moved on. Okay, that's all I really had on the list. I mean, that was quite a bit, but I just, for me, there's always a reason why I can't go do something. You know, um, I'm watching the puppy. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Oh my gosh, I only have a couple hours. You know, how can I do anything in a couple hours? Well, you can get a lot done in an hour. You know, tomorrow, hopefully I will get the two by fours. Um... I don't, and this is an excuse, but it's a good one. I don't usually cut wood before I go to work because I don't want to have to take another shower and then take one when I get home from work. And usually my chop saw, it does. It seems like it doesn't matter which way the wind's blowing. It's going to blow that sawdust right on my back and down my shirt. And Excuse me, I don't really want to go to work like that. So, you know, I, I don't want to cut it. But I can take measurements and get them ready, right? I can put lines on them. Um... I have a bunch of boxwood, like uh, crates, and that's what I'm going to use to put on the shelves. So I can get those marked out and see where I need to cut them. Maybe unscrew. They've got some 2x4s on them already, small ones. Unscrew those, and I can use those for cross members on the shelves. Because I want these shelves to be a whole quite a bit. Um, but then that frees me up for the shelves. Now I can put, uh, I have a, some containers I can put on there. So I can put plumbing things in them and label them plumbing things so that when I need a plumbing fitting or that, then I can go to it. And if I have too many of one fitting, it'll get its own bucket. And then I'll have another one for electrical and, and just stuff that I can actually organize the junk that's sitting out there. And I know I say junk, but it's useful junk, you know. Um, things that I can use, use and need. And there's things like my stapler. Okay, I mean, we're going on to organize my stapler, just the regular um, heavy-duty stapler. I've got three or four out there. You think I could find the staples for them? I um, think I could find the good stapler, so I bought another one. And it's sitting in my garage in a box right now of work things that I'm doing with the chicken. So if I don't watch it, that one will get lost too. So, you know, you, you kind of, do I need four staplers? No, I just need to be more organized. So that's what I, we're, we're planning on tomorrow is to do a little bit there. Plus, I have to stop at the feed store and get the raptors some feed, um, get some bedding so that I can get the um, brooder set up and ready to go so I'm not waiting. Maybe if there's some $1 chicks there, I might buy some more chicks. You didn't hear that here. Um, it was really hard because they had uh, um, Cornish Cross for two forty nine dollars each. <sighs> I'd like to try the Cornish Cross. I've never done it. That'd be something new. But, you know, it's not sustainable. It's You have to buy them and then you butcher them, which is good. But I, I really think I want to lean towards working on making myself more sustainable in that. Like the Silkies, those are for 4-H in that. Possibly I can sell some chicks. We'll see. We might try that. But uh, they're not really for eating. You know, um, they'd be kind of more like a corny shen. But, um, yeah, so that's what we might do tomorrow. You know, get some more chicks. I mean, get some things done. Okay, well, I hope 
somehow you got something out of this. Uh, sometimes I think I ramble a little too much. Some people say I don't, but um, I go off on tangents and that. But that's me. You know, that's why. I, that's why I said I don't really want to edit this, and I don't even release re-listen to it. I just talk. I try to follow my notes, go off tangent, and then I release it because I think that's being honest and that's letting you see how I think about things. Okay. So, like I said, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Hope maybe it helped you out. Okay, hope to see you on the next one. Thanks for joining me. And remember, stay alive out there and keep on surviving.